Hello again, this is part three of the uh, reconstruction of the Leif Erikson acoustic guitar. Um, this part, I'm trying to keep them a bit shorter, the last one was 18 plus minutes. Um, this one is a, a lot about preparing of tools, so like for instance putting leather faces on these sash, sash cramps, prepared for squeezing the guitar in sideways, um, and a bunch of other things. So preparation, making of spool clamps, and then the main thing I actually achieve in this part is uh, gluing up of cracks and cleating of those cracks. Thanks for watching in advance. And these are the metal or engineering parts of uh, the spool clamps. So I can tighten them from either top or bottom. The wooden parts will go here, behind these large washers. And to do that, I'll use my hole saw. If you haven't seen one before, it's, it fits in an ordinary electric drill. It's got a brad point bit, and then grooves for various diameters of saw. Um, it's actually not that critical what diameter I choose, but I've drawn some circles and I think yeah, that's slightly too big. That's too small. Okay, hang on. Okay, it'll be this one. And these fit in to this fitting or whatever you want to call it and is it an arbor maybe it's an arbor and it's going to rotate clockwise and cut a hole that size centered on this this drill bit I know this is going to create a lot of sawdust and I really wish I had a separate a separate room for this kind of thing but it has to double as my YouTube recording studio and the place where I listen to records. So it's just unfortunate and I have to keep on hoovering. So here we go. Yeah, that's about the centre. Tiny bit more. There it is. So these are the parts I've been cutting out to make the spool clamps or violin clamps. And these are a bunch of cleats I've been making to cleat the cracks, stabilize the cracks in the front and back of the guitar. There are a couple of uh, cracks in the back of this guitar. Um, I've sealed them with wood glue and what I'm doing now is um, putting on cleats to stabilize the crack hopefully. So already off camera there's one cleat here on this lower crack. This crack that runs here I'm about to glue cleats onto. And here is one of those cleats with glue spread all over the back of it, quite thickly. And I'm going to put that first one in the middle of the crack. So I need a bit of glue on that surface too. And I have a clamp ready and some extra leather. So here we go. Here's the extra leather to go under underneath because it's the this the surface with finisher on it that I need to protect, not the surface of the cleat. So here we go, put this one into position too. The 
cleat has turned a little, but that is not a really a problem. A cleat in a diagonal position is just as good as a cleat square on. Not too much pressure. So, we have two, two cleats in place, which I now wait, wait for them to dry and harden. There's a slight issue already that I'm, I've tried fitting the back to the body of the guitar, and there seems to have been a bit of shrinkage all round of the back. Um, I've let the customer know about this, and we may in the end have to go all around with a slight filling, probably using sawdust and glue. But we'll see, see what it's like once I've glued the top, sorry, glued the back, back on. And I've just added a clamp across the width of this guitar to hold, make sure that the crack is being held shut at the same time as the cleat is, is drying. So there's a crack in the, actually in the front of the guitar that I can still see light through so I'm going to use this uh, suction cup to force glue into it. This is messy but in the end it's probably the only thing that's going to work. God damn it, <laughs> I can't get the suction cup off now. Come on, there we go, messy as I say, have to get rid of a lot of glue now, quite quickly before it goes, before it dries or sets off. still see some light through one end so a bit more attention there the end right up against the end block of the guitar which is try quite hard to get the suction cup into we'll give it one more go actually I think I'll just use my the end of my finger to apply pressure because I can get that closer in. Okay, messy again. Clear up the glue. Nobody would imagine there's this much devil in the detail in reassembling a, an old guitar, but there is. I mean, if you've watched anybody else doing guitar repairs and uh, I'm thinking of Dave's World of Fun Stuff T. Woodford or um, even Jerry Rosa and his Rosa Stringworks videos you will know that there's a lot of devil in the detail okay can we still see light? No. Good. Now I must remember to wash off my suction cup or else it will be unusable next time. There, that's done, but it still needs about three cleats along the crack on the inside. So that's the end of part three of this guitar resurrection story. Part four will be um, gluing the prepared back 
onto the body of the guitar again. So, thanks for watching. See you at the next one. Bye.